ratchet right now i know i do hold on let me go back i look so ratchet right now here goes a gift unpacking <laughs> um let me show you exactly what i got my gifts so let's start with with gift number one um pride bubble bath no uh, bath bombs it's the point that they're pride it's the point that my mom said i got them for you because they're pride pause somebody said you gay i said <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> hey, they cute, they cute. Um, <clears throat> sorry. This is not a coming out story. Uh, <laughs> but no, just pride bath bombs. So let me talk to you guys about how, as a kid, I low-key ruined Christmas and that kind of formed. Oh my God. Every single story I have forms back to some trauma and I hate it. Don't look at my hair. Let me sip some something. We went to go see Puss in Boots this morning. Go watch that vlog. I'm trying to learn. Before we get into the story. I'm trying to learn how to cut clips. Just so that you guys aren't watching shit. That you guys don't need to watch. Right? You know what I mean? So like if my videos have now went from being 20-35 minutes to now 10-15 minutes. Or 6-5 minutes. Because there's a lot of stuff in my videos that don't need to be said. But let's get it done. So I remember when I was younger, um, I wanted a Barbie doll house. A Barbie dream house. Because my cousin used to have it. And essentially, my cousin was an only child. So I had three sisters. <laughs> so you know what I mean? So when I equivalated, why can't I get what she got? I, I, I wasn't doing the math. I wasn't doing the calculations. So I remember this Christmas... Let's introduce gift two before I get into this. I got a brush set because um, obviously you can see, not this wig that I have on right now. Um, I do a lot of wigs, so I need these kind of brushes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get back to the story. So, because, so I asked for that Barbie dream house. I was like, please give me the Barbie dream house, please, right? And I remember I wake up, wake up the morning Christmas of, I walk out and there isn't a Barbie dream house, but there is some kind of Walmart Goodwill branded dream house. It wasn't a dream house. It was a fucking trap house. It was a one story trap house that was laid out for me. And my mom's like, I got you the dream house. I got you the doll house. And I said, <laughs> Here goes the waterworks. Here goes the waterworks. I started crying. And I remember we got a Wii that Christmas too. So I don't know why I was sad because that Wii saved my life. I was doing Wii sports. Gift two. I got a calendar. Stronger uh, together. Stronger together. Damn, I can't fucking read. Uh, just like a lot of women stuff. That and then let me do two more because I'm gonna get through this story. And then I got this, and I got this Dr. Teal stuff that I'm about to use right now because I need a relaxing bath and I need to do my hair. So that's that's basically what I have. So then I start crying, my waterworks coming, and my mom's just telling me how like I'm ungrateful and how I basically ruined Christmas. And my sisters are basically like, you ruined Christmas because you're crying, you're ungrateful. And from that point on, I was like, 
oh my god i am the problem child i am ungrateful what is wrong with me why was i so mad that i didn't get that dream house so from that point on christmas has kind of been like very up and down for me it's been my favorite holiday because i try to bring other people joy but then i also like have felt this distinguishing like sadness of oh my god i can't react or get mad or get sad if nobody gets me any gifts or nobody gets me what i want or no everybody disappoints me you know like i i can't be sad about it because i'm gonna be the worst person on earth if i do i'm gonna ruin christmas i'm gonna ruin everybody's day i am a horrible person so like every christmas when i would wake up and my mom would try her hardest because I said that my mom did try her hardest to get us gifts because we didn't grow up a lot of money. We grew up on Section 8, okay? We grew up on Section 8 and y'all know the Section 8, for all the rent, okay? And if you own Section 8, that means you ain't got real money. My mom didn't really have a job, but she had men, uh, boyfriends used to move shit. So since they used to move shit, they thought they were hot shit, but they didn't really help out as much as they can. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I would always just be like, wake up and say, oh, I'm so thankful for this. You know what I mean? So moving on, as I got grown, this is my last of my gifts before I end this video. I then, my mom then got me a, I ain't gonna show y'all because I know y'all hoes broke like me. <laughs> because if I seen a card, I would have been like, ching ching. Um, she got me an H&M gift card macy's gift card and an amazon gift card which is gonna help out so fucking much because i need a external cord for my computer i need to get some more wigs um and a lot of stuff but let me finish off this story because it's gonna be the last vlogmas of the year until next year um but yeah so boom so boom once i got 16 that's when i started to buy gifts for everybody because I started to get a job and that also worsened my people pleasing because nobody really got anything for me or got any gifts for me and I was kind of put on the back pedal because from that day forward I would buy gifts for everybody like every single Christmas and then again when I would get up and they would hand me a used gift card, I would be like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I would have to be happy with that. You know what I mean? And it, this may me sound ungrateful, but it's like, it's a lot of trauma to unpack, you know? Stop, okay? And that's why I feel like I could be grateful to an extent, okay? I'm very grateful. Like today, I'm very grateful for what I got because now that I'm 20 years old, there isn't really a lot of stuff that you could get me. And I'm grateful for these gift cards because when you get older, this is all that really people could give you. Grateful for these gift cards. I'm just more stuck in the, I am ready to start making money so that when we have Christmases like this, we I don't got to worry, you know, about giving gifts or not having the money to you know my family because i want to build that generational love but then my therapist also told me that this christmas i need to give without receiving and that will teach me how to be more mindful and not coming into situations thinking that i'm always gonna get something because i'm not always gonna get 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 i need to give because i love giving not because i want to get something you know what i mean because that's more of a story ever since i've been a kid i wanted to give so much that i forgot what why i was giving so much that i was like Oh, I'm giving this to you because I think I'm going to receive something back. And then I'm disappointed when I don't receive exactly what I want. So this Christmas, I have gave without wanting anything back. But I have been given things that I want. And I'm very appreciative and I'm thankful for. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching this last Vlogmas video. I'm literally about to go take off this wig. I'm about to go wash my hair. Um it's a new year it's a new life we're gonna be doing so many new stuff i hope you guys love what i have in store for you guys and yeah bye